Hello, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, I'm going to be looking at extending classes so we can use specific data or rather properties and methods from another class but quickly do this so we've created a new class um, to use this data. We can, we can do this on one line but we can also specify additional properties. If you don't know what I'm talking about then follow along this example. This is the uh, bank account class from the previous examples, the previous videos. If you haven't watched them already go back and do so. And um, the, we, ha we simply have a class bank account. I'll just walk you through it. We've got a class bank called bank account. We've got a property called balance which is by default equal to zero. Um, and we have three different methods. We've got display balance, which simply displays this uh, property. We have um, a method called withdraw, which with withdraws a certain amount of money. And we have a method called deposit, which puts in a certain amount of money, so uh, deposits a certain amount of money. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to think about what happens if we want to create a savings account. Now, the sort of first way of thinking about this would be to maybe copy this come down here paste it in and just change everything around so instead of class bank account we can call it a uh, class savings account and uh, the balance we can keep uh, the display balance we can keep um, the withdrawal we can keep and the deposit we can keep as well so what we've essentially done is created um, a new in, a, a new um, class called savings account, but with exactly the same properties and methods of our um, of our bank account up here. Now by doing this, we've duplicated code, and the point of object oriented programming is that you can reuse classes, um, but call them different names, and you can. Um, Add different properties, but keep certain aspects of um, keep certain aspects of your uh, other class. So we do this using extends. You notice now I've deleted uh, the duplication of this bank account class. What we're going to do now is we're going to create a new class, but we're going to do it. it we're going to do exactly what we just did by copying and pasting, but with one line. So let's go class savings account. Now this time, before we do uh, this like this, all we do is we say extend, and then we give the name of the class that we want to extend into this savings account. So we're extending this bank account class to this class called savings account. So we just type bank account. And that's it. That's all you need to do. Inside here, you can uh, specify additional properties. But as of now, this savings account has the, all the properties and methods of our bank account class. So we've got a public balance and public methods here, which we can use within our savings account. So let's just go ahead and test this. If I was to say Alex um, savings equals new savings account. Let's go first of all to our browser and test this. OK, you can see that nothing's come up at the moment, but uh, this basically means that this has worked. And now what we can say is Alex savings display balance. And let's echo that out. So you can see that balance is zero. Now notice we're using this savings account class. So what, we, what we've done is successfully extended our bank account class into this savings account. So we have use for the methods. So instead of the first method I just showed you, um, copying and pasting the whole class and just changing the name, we're now not reusing any code whatsoever because we are keeping the same class, but we're just creating a new class as an extension of the main bank account class. So we found a lot, um, a much easier way of doing things. So let's run these side by side. We've created our savings account, and um, let's maybe with, with let's maybe deposit some money into our savings account. So Alex Savings deposit, and let's deposit deposit three thousand pound in here. And up here we'll create a normal bank account. So Alex equals new bank account. Um, and we'll say Alex deposit 
and we'll deposit just a hundred in here uh, and then we'll display both the balances at the end so what we've done is we've created a new bank account which is our main class we've deposited a hundred pounds we've created a savings account class with an instance of our savings account class which we've deposited three thousand pound but remember this is not a main class this is our extended class from a bank account however even though we're using it side by side and we're creating a new instance of bank account and savings account we can use both simultaneously so now what I can do is say um, echo Alex display balance um, and we can put a line break on there just so we can keep things neat and then we can say echo um, Alex savings which is our savings uh, extended class we can say display balance as well so now what we should do is we should create we're, well what we're doing is we're creating a new bank account and a new savings account um, and we are depositing three thousand pound in here and a hundred pound in there and then displaying our balances so let's have a look at that uh, undefined property display balance okay maybe I spelled that wrong oh okay sorry um, I didn't include the parentheses on the end so some things to watch out for okay so we've got balance 100 and balance 3000 so these could correspond to the correct values that we deposited in earlier let's just make it interesting and I'll say um, Alex uh, withdraw and we'll withdraw say 20 pounds Ooh, we forgot the greater than sign there so uh, we we're left with this value so you can see that we can do different things to different uh, our different classes now that we've created new instances of them even though we haven't put anything in here we've extended so we can use the methods and properties inside but what we can also do in more interestingly is we can specify additional properties that we want now inside our savings account and we can do the same with methods as well so we can specify additional methods and additional properties inside this savings account class